Hey everybody, Charlie and I are two here, and welcome back to Pentiment. We last left off, uh, well, we found Andreas here, and now we are underneath the rat house, looking for the Mithraeum, which is an old Roman temple of sorts. What's this? It's part of the tunnel has collapsed. We're not getting to the Mithraeum this way. I think, yes, Casper and I found a collapsed section of the aqueduct near town. We didn't find out what was on the other side. I wouldn't let him explore it. I should have taken more care with him. Whenever you're done feeling guilty, we can get on with this. Can't do anything about that now. Say nothing. Prickly. Yes, of course. Sprout tunnels collapse. So. So. Part of the aqueduct near town, then. Can't get through here. Can't get through here. All right, so now what? This way? Ooh, ah. What's in here? More stairs down? Would something be below the baths? I hypocost. They use warm air to heat the rooms above. Roman colonies in the north often had them. Well, let's hope those haven't filled with silt as well. Well, this is... Unique. Are these columns ridged like this in order to uh, conduct heat for surface area? Do you know where we're going? These pillars just kind of go on in all directions. Andreas, could you look that way? I think I'm going to try exploring ahead. Of course. Yeah, let's, let's let the man with no lamp... Look around. Oh no, we're gonna control Andreas again for reasons. Lorenz. That's the bear. Oh, oh, no, 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 I didn't get to read it. Hold on. I was too focused on who Lorenz was. That's the Baron Lorenz Rothfogel, right? He was saying, how could we abandon our work? So... Clearly, we got some issues going on with Andres. Franz, the only thing more pitiful than watching you work in the scriptorium was your love of that dying art. I had thought you understood what I was forced to do. Your callousness killed us all. Okay, so yeah, you got some demons you're fighting there from the decisions you've made. Master, why did you send me back into the flames? Oh no, Casper... I didn't send you into the flames, did I? Oh, we've we've journeyed into our mind. No, no, this isn't right. What is this? A loot monster? And fish with jars? What are you? A rabbit? I can't quite tell. I can't be here right now. How did I get here? Did you pass out? You're still here. Melancholia. Yeah, for a little longer. You're leaving? I'm the last vestige of reason that once ruled this court. When it goes, I will go with it. But who will rule the city if you leave? No one. You must leave this place forever, Andres. You must abandon it for good. But how? What can I do? I don't even know how I got here. This is once a place of refuge for you, Andres. But it's become a prison. A prison you constructed to protect yourself. From what? From pain. From risk. From life itself. But I can't stay here. I have to help Magdalene. How do I get out? Andres, you are the architect. I'll help you as best I can, but you're the only one who can answer that. Oh, we got a maze. Okay, well, let's follow the maze. Looks like it goes... Sabine. Hello, Andres. Is that you, Sabine? Yes, of course. I'm still here. Part of me will always be here with you. We haven't talked in so long. Why? You reminded me of August. Reminded me. 
Wasn't all bad, Andres. We lost him, but we had our years together. They were happy years, weren't they? Let's assume they were happy. But they ended, and it felt like life ended with them. I know. It's hard for us both that don't blame you for anything. And you should stop blaming yourself. Maybe too late for us, but it's not too late for you, Andres. It's not too late for Magdalene. Yes, Magdalene. I have to help her. You can, Andreas, but you have to leave this place behind for good. I know. I can. I will. You will. Thank you, Sabine. Will I ever see you again? There's a lobster, by the way. Just wanted to point out that in this cloudscape full of snakes, hands, loot monsters, moons, fish-eating fish, elk men pulling rabbits out of hats or cats, Sons, there's a lobster being eaten by whatever that is. Not in this place, but maybe someday in a better place, in a better dream. All right, so this is like the prison of the mind, right? We get caught in like these negative thoughts and these uh, self-preservation mechanisms that we design for ourselves that we create our own prisons, right? Uh, isn't that what the guy from Creed, Scott Stapp, said? I created, I created, I created my own prison. Master Andres. Oh, <coughs> Casper. Excuse me, I have to cough. I'm trying to sing like Scott Stapp has made me have to cough. All right, Casper, is it really you? So good to see you again, Master. How can you say that? You died because of me. Just wanted to help you, Master Andres. You couldn't think straight. You shouldn't blame yourself anymore. I let my family down. I let you down. What should I do? Get back to life, I think. Wish I knew how. Help Magdalene, Master. And she'll help you. All right, Casper. Thank you. Thank you for everything you taught me. Aw, thanks, Casper. Oh, the maze just changed. What happened? This was our way out. Before I started talking to Casper, I know this was the way out. Your mind is fighting itself, Andres. It remembers the pain of life. It's trying to protect you from it. Beatrice? Yes? Thought you were gone. You brought me back. Oh. So what do I do now? Keep going. Don't quit. Don't speak, I know just what you... Okay, I need to stop with the karaoke, even though I love karaoke. Alright, so let's go this way. I like the little pitter-patter footsteps. Uh, nope, nope, this one. August! Oh, that's our son. You too? It's been so many nights, so many years without seeing your face. Thought I'd forgotten it. I know there's nothing I could have done, but I knew you were still here, though. Quietly waiting for me. I can't change the past. I can't cover it up. It's always there underneath the surface, no matter how I try to bury it. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I... It's all right. What? It's all right, Daddy. Oh, my goodness, you're going to make me cry. It is? You don't have to hide here anymore. I'm scared, August. I know. But that's why you can't stay. There are people who need you. I really like this depiction of, for lack of a better term, anxiety, right? Crippling anxiety to the point that you don't want to interact with people, you don't want to move on from your life. It's like a maze within your head. I like this. This is this is done very well. What if I can't help them? I don't know, Daddy. I'm too little. I think you have to figure that out on your own. Of course. You're right. Thank you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. Good night, August. Good night. Oh, the walls. They shifted again. Still trying to protect you. No, it's not. No, I mean, no, I don't have to do this. This is my mind, my maze. 
and I'm leaving. Good. But this next part might be confusing. Is that Beatrice instead of uh, Mother Mary? What? I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. Why are you holding the maze? Two things are merging in your mind. You and? There are layers to everything, even our memories. Over time, the foundations become buried. We can no longer recall how we got here, no longer recall where we came from. Kind of like the foundations of Tassin being buried. And what came before? Our Lady, watching over the labyrinth as I watch over you. And even this has roots that reach deep into the past. There were not always a lady to watch over the labyrinth, but there was a labyrinth. What? I don't understand. Who is this? Alright, let's just try to take this in a minute. So they're sacrificing a bull. There's a dog saying, hey, I want to help. There's a snake. A bird, sun and moon. Some Roman dude. Sister Amelie. Oh, it's Amelie! It's Amelie! Of course it's Amelie. Of course it's Amelie. That makes all of the sense. She would have access. No one would suspect her. Huh. She had, probably has an entrance to her room somewhere that she can crawl through. And she was the one making the predictions. Is this real? Am I still in my mind? You are here with me. And we are here in spirit. You looked like Beatrice a moment ago. Beatrice? I don't know her. Of course she wouldn't. We are in the tabernacle, the heart of the labyrinth. Your spirit was wandering and the Lord brought you here. But I don't understand. How did you leave your cell? I have not. We are only here in spirit, Andres. Wait, what? I thought we were physically here. Is this real? Am I finally experiencing that which I have only read about in the testimony of mystics? Are you here to save me? I'm seeing things. This isn't real. It can't be. Let's click the sun one. Reading cannot communicate a spiritual experience. But yes, this is real, and you need not be afraid. Have faith. If you're here with me, it is the Lord's will. Andreas? Sister Amelie? What are you doing here, sister? This is the center of the labyrinth, the tabernacle. It is where the Lord sends my spirit to do his will. He has also guided your spirits here. There must be a purpose to it. Sister, we're looking for the Mithraeum. Is this it? The Lord's will? What do you mean? No, this isn't my spirit. I walked here through the aqueduct. Let's ask for the Mithraeum. Mithraeum? No. This is the tabernacle. Not a place of wood and stone, but a place of spirit. The Lord has called me to this place for many years. He has always made his will known to me. Soon he will make it known to you. Sister, how does your spirit come to this place? Through the door between life and death. When my spirit hears the call, it descends through my grave. Here the Lord tells me what messages I must bear and to whom. Okay, so she is physically coming here. She is caught up in the mysticism aspect of it. She has been digging a grave in her cell, and through digging her grave, she's found an entrance to these aqueducts, right? At least that's what I think is going on. You deliver messages? How? It was almost impossible for us to reach this place. You deliver messages? Yes, once long ago I was a scribe, of course. You have the purple ink, don't you? I copied many works of the great church doctors. Origin, in particular. But that all ended with the fire. It ended with my life. Wait. I thought I'd given up the pen forever until the visions returned. And there we go. There's the script. No. When fire took my abbey, I couldn't save my sisters, not one. All I could grab was a single book and a bolt of cloth. 
I couldn't understand why God had spared me alone. But he showed me. God had a higher purpose for me, for my hands. Father Tomas explained it to me. He makes everything clear. He tells me what I must do, what the Lord wills me to do. It is Father Tomas. I knew it. He's using you as a pawn. It was you the whole time. You wrote the notes. I found one by my dad when he was attacked. Kick her ass. Sister Amelie, you pushed these people into committing murder. What? No, no, that can't be true. The Lord would not use me for such a purpose. See, and then this is what you get. You get these devout believers who don't even question what they're told or don't even stop to think that those telling them things are corrupt in themselves like Father Tomas. Calm yourself, we'll figure this out. Well, that's what happened. You wrote those notes. Maybe it wasn't the Lord's will, but your own. We'll figure this out. This doesn't make any sense. Why would Amelie want anyone dead? No, I wouldn't. He wouldn't. There was nothing in his messages about murder. No, 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 no. I'm not here. This cannot be happening. This cannot be happening. This cannot continue. This cannot continue. Super mega awesome bonus points if you get that reference. Ah! There he is. Tomas the asshole. With a little smirk on his face. Sister Amelie, shh, it's all right. Father Tomas, how'd you get down here? Tassin is an old place. It's buried many ancient roads and tunnels over the centuries. People walk above hidden ways every day without even knowing it. Though in truth, it was Sister Amelie who rediscovered them first and found this place. Wait, the dimensions of this room... This is the foundation of the church. Father Tomas, did you? In other circumstances, I would be overjoyed to see you, Andres. Truth, I'm still happy you're alive, thank God. But I think the occasion of this reunion leaves little to rejoice about. The two of us can take them. Let's go. You? You knew about this place? You and Sister Amelie were behind all of the murders? No, she had no part in this. But the notes, she wrote them. She did, but she did not understand their purpose. I guided her, told her what to write. You abused her love and her trust for your own purposes. He who wishes to follow love's way must regard neither cost nor shame, nor pain. He must stand to everything, even her most terrible commands. I am ashamed to admit it, but yes, I did. To what end? What was the point of all this? Look around you. What do you see? Roman ruins? Look closer. Looks like the statue of St. Moritz from the meadow. And the image of St. Satia from the sign. So Moritz and Satia? Satia? Satia is probably a better way to say it. I don't understand. It's St. Moritz and St. Satia and Mars and Diana. The saints are the gods? When the Romans left Tassin, their buildings, their temples, their statues remained. Christians settled here centuries later. They found time-worn fragments of that imperial grasp. The statue of Mars Pater, that once watched over the Roman field, stood there still, headless and nameless. The settlers believed it was St. Moritz, who was already a legend where they had come from. They founded the shrines to Setia, and not understanding she was an aspect of Diana, believed she was another local saint. So the people turned them into saints. That's what happens in real life. <laughs> Sanctity and sainthood exist outside of what people believe, Magdalene. People cannot turn someone into a saint any more than they can unmake the divinity of Christ. But that's exactly what they do. The, the whole idea of sainthood is invented by man. It's part of religion. But they knew the saints and learned the local legends of the region and applied them to the figures they found here. No one knew there were Roman gods because there was no account to the Romans did what the Romans did and left here. Except for Historia Tassier. But Historia Tassier was not known then, perhaps it had not even been written then. Who knows how long that book had been lost before it made its way to Father Matthias. And you killed him for it. Yes, with poison. 
No one suspected. He died of poison and no one suspected. Must have been quite subtle. Wait, what? You killed someone? No, we know he's killed people. His death was unexpected, but I was the only person he confided in about what he read in Historia Tassier. When Father Matthias learned that there was no evidence that St. Moritz had ever come to Tassin, that the shrine to him in the meadow was a statue of Mars that the Romans had erected hundreds of years ago, that St. Satia was the Roman goddess Diana, he resolved to deal with it. And you resolved to deal with him. Andreas, our people believe in St. Moritz, they believe in the miracles God has worked through his hands. And they believe in the legend of St. Satia that she helped Moritz and watches over Tassin still. Why does it matter if they were wrong, if the saints weren't here? And this is worth killing the abbot? I believe it was then, yes. If St. Moritz never came to Tassin, what's in the reliquary? What are the pilgrims coming to see? What does it mean for the people who prayed to him? to St. Satia, and believed their prayers were answered. What does it mean for the church that has given people hope, fixed like a false star in a dark sky? If the people have reason to doubt the validity of the saints, can they doubt the church? Can they doubt the gospel, the word of God? Perhaps some would, but you always told us that we have to accept Christ in our own free will. Do you have so little faith in ordinary people, Father Tomas? Own free will. Yes, of course, but preserving the legends of our saints doesn't interfere with individual volition. You are preserving a lie. I preserved a lie to illuminate greater truth. God so loved the world that he gave his only son. If you believe this, if you truly believe this, eternal life is yours. And saints have walked among us and their relics work miracles and they hear our prayers and answer them. And the two that protect the town were never here. They don't need to know that, Andres. There are times when God feels so far away from us in these mountains. But a peasant in Tassing can stand in a field, look over the valley, and say, St. Moritz was here. God was with us, and he is with us still, and he will always be with us. And that is the truth, even if the legends of St. Moritz is a lie. So many people have died because of what you've done. Yes. I know this is hard to believe, but I was trying to save lives to prevent death. But one murder didn't solve the problem, did it? Because one day Baron Rothvogel rode into town with another copy of Historia Tassier. A copy he promised to give the abbot so Kearsall could come to terms with its past. And if Father Gounod read its contents, you would be facing the same danger you saw on Father Matthias. In retrospect, given how Father Grineau chose to run the abbey, my fears may have been unfounded. Do you think he wouldn't have cared? That sentiment didn't prevent you from doing it again. You're right, it didn't. But then why Otto? Certainly he didn't have anything to do with Historia Tassier. He couldn't even read. In the end, his murder provoked Peter and the others into destroying the abbey. I never thought that would happen. I underestimated Peter's anger and the peasants' frustration. Yeah, because you're an idiot. So you killed him to prevent an uprising, but it caused it instead. Yep. Someone else killed him, as someone else killed Baron Rothvogel. And it wasn't to prevent an uprising, but to stop him from showing people what he found. What he found when he was helping to dig the foundations of the rat house. The wall of the aqueduct? Bones? Wall of the aqueduct. No, everyone knows about the old aqueducts. That wouldn't cause alarm. What he found was a stone head. The missing head of the statue in the meadow, the statue of the shrine of St. Moritz. How did it wind up over there? The most likely culprits are rain, floods, and time. Lactil told me that farmers find old tools and pottery in the fields every year. Yes, and this head remained hidden for centuries and set in the soil until Otto found it. And he was going to show everyone that God had favored this town with his discovery. What Otto could not know is that our shrine statue was not of St. Moritz because Otto could not read the words chiseled across the helmet, Mater's Peter. But the man he entrusted with this information, the town priest, could. Yes. And you told him to meet you on St. John's Eve at the Rat House. I could not let him destroy our town's beliefs. And you had poor sister Amelie write down what you told her were visions, visions she couldn't remember. 
and deliver them to the dead in the dead of night to Guy, to Hannah, to Martin, so that one of them would murder Otto just as someone murdered Lorenz. What about my father? I'm sorry, Magdalene. Why did you do it? It doesn't make any sense. I've lived next to you my whole life. How could you? None of this was easy for me. I always thought I was doing what needed to be done. Was it because of the mural? Yes. Klaus persuaded the project, or pursued, excuse me, if I can read, pursued the project with the determination of a guilty man doing the penance. He kept digging and digging for answers about Tassin's past, Kearsall's past. I was afraid that sooner or later he would find out about Moritz Satya. This place, everything. So you tried to kill him? No, I tried to scare him. First with the note, but he ignored it. I thought if I ransacked the workshop, it would scare him off. I didn't expect him to come down so quickly. It's just an accident. It wasn't an accident. You almost killed him. I know. So what are you going to do now? Kill me? Kill Magdalene? No, of course not. I have neither the means nor the will to do so. But even if I can't stop you from telling the people what I've done, I can't stop them from finding this place. I can stop them from finding this place. Kick his butt. Come on, both of you kick his butt. It's the same time. Stop. It's too late for me, but I can still take Tassin's secrets with me. They mentioned this in the very first chapter about the uh, foundations of the church going bad, didn't they? Father, you're going to kill us all. You're going to kill Amelie. Then leave and take her with you. You can tell the townsfolk what you want, but if you stay here, we'll die together. This is suicide. You can't stop people from learning the truth. You'd really kill yourself and destroy the church just to hide this secret. You can't stop people from learning the truth. Maybe, but I have to try. We should get out of here. Father, go. Please show him get crushed, like, in a horrible way. Are you alright? How's Sister Amelie? She's out, still out, but I think she's fine. They must have heard that at the Golden Hand. The entire church collapsing? I hope so. What an awful night to end a beautiful Christmas night. Awful way to end a beautiful Christmas night. Of course. I'd hope so. What are we going to tell them? What do you mean? About this. About everything. We tell them the truth. For the same reason Father Thomas hid it. So we should reward what he did, all the people he's hurt? Please explain your thinking. I'm just not so sure it makes sense. What good will it do to tell everyone about St. Moritz and St. Satya? Maybe Father Tomas was right about that, if nothing else. Maybe it would break their faith. I think he's wrong. I think the people here have enough faith to hear the truth. I suppose the people here have had enough things in their life broken. Nope, I think he's wrong. You know them better than I do, especially since I've been away for so long. You came back after all this time to solve this, but... I thought understanding this would feel better. We found out who did all of this, who attacked my dad. But it's not like we can bring anyone back. We can't undo any of the hurt that he's caused. Father Thomas wouldn't be able to hurt anyone el won't be able to hurt anyone else. Maybe he never would have. I think you're right, we should tell them. About the saints, the Romans, all of it. I hate that doing the right thing feels so awful. Nope, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't really... This, in my experience in life, the right thing, most of the time, feels awful. And a vast majority of the time is the more difficult thing to do. I'm sorry. I am too, but I still think it's what we need to do. Then we'll tell them. Good. We should get Sister Amelie someplace warm. We can take her to my house. You probably have some explaining to do. A lot, I think. It's been a long time coming. I'm glad you didn't die in that fire. I am too. I think. Merry Christmas, Andres. Merry Christmas. 
All right. What now? All right. That's going to do it for this episode. Unless it's very short, and then I'll just splice this together. Um, but we'll see. Maybe there is still a good chunk of game after this. Thanks for watching, though. If you enjoy my comments, or my content, not my comments. Well, my comments and my contents. If you enjoy any of it, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode, which I assume will be the thrilling conclusion to Pentiment, but we shall see. It has surprised me in the past. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.